Hello again, here we have yet another example. Okay, I forgot to write it down. There. It is 5 log base 7 3 minus log base 7 9. We must express this as a single logarithm. Okay, and it's actually quite fairly easy. We simply use our laws. But what I am going to do, just to keep it simple, is I like to work with prime numbers. If I can, I just place things in prime numbers and that just helps me later on. So I'm going to say this is 3 to the power of 5. We know now that the law says my coefficient may, come, may become the uh, exponent of my interior. Okay, minus, and this one becomes log 7. And the 9 I'm just going to write as 3 squared. And you can see why I did that, because in my next step, because I'm subtracting two logarithms, now remember, the only time I am allowed to divide the interiors is when they don't have any coefficients in front of them. I'm not allowed to make it a single logarithm because this 5 is only the exponent of that 3. If I were to do it before, it would also become, um, in other words, if I said that this was 5 log 7 3, let's do it like this, 3 over 9, okay, now the 5 becomes the exponent of the 3 and the 9, like that, okay, and, and that's not true, at the beginning this one didn't have a 5 in front, so he doesn't get to get the exponent, so we first have to uh, make sure that our coefficients are either the same so if this one had a 5 we could do it that would be fine um, but if it's not the same I first have to just take my exponent uh, my coefficient inside as an exponent okay so now here we go I can subtract logarithms by dividing the interiors 3 to the power of 5 divided by 3 to the power of 2 and come on that's easy 3 uh, 5 factors of 3 divided by 2 factors of 3 leaves me with only 3 factors of uh, 3 so this is 3 to the power of 3 which is 27 and that is the single logarithm I don't need to evaluate it if I if I knew what 7 to the power of something gives me 27 if I knew what that something was fine but there's no th nothing that the, well that you can know out of your head unless you're a genius uh, to find the exponent to give 7 to get the answer of 27. So that is good enough to leave it as a single logarithm. Thank you for watching.